PJ Del Santo with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. And now a tropical storm on the uh, United States, Mexico border and Texas. It'll continue to bring lots of rain to that part of the world. We'll talk about that in a second. In our part of the world, we've got quite a few people on the beach already. Lots of sunshine in Narragansett Town Beach. Here's a live look at North Kingstown overlooking Narragansett Bay. Beautiful start. Nothing but sun. Few high clouds around. Live Doppler radar. We're not concerned about shower thunderstorm activity today. Our threat tracker for today right through Tuesday at that medium level. The worst of it's probably tomorrow. Very hot. Some temperatures could be approaching 100 degrees tomorrow afternoon. It'll continue to be humid and we have an excessive heat watch in effect for parts of Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Talk about that in a second. And the heat wave may continue into Tuesday. For today, air quality alert for southern Rhode Island. Expect poor air quality if you suffer from a respiratory disease such as asthma. A good day to just take it easy. I think for most of us, it'd be a good day if you can. Just take it easy. Excessive heat watch for tomorrow. Inland locations of Massachusetts. Now, this includes Taunton, Seacock, the Attleboroughs, Mansfield, on over into Rentham, Foxborough. We are expecting feel like temperatures up around 105 degrees for tomorrow afternoon. Today, not quite as hot, but hot and humid still. Uh, we encourage you to stay hydrated, drink lots of water, take it easy, stay cool, stay in the AC if you can, by a pool, at the beach in the water. Make sure our pets have lots of water and a cool shelter, and don't forget to check on the elderly. And of course, never leave a kid or a pet in a hot car. Here's a live look at Providence. Lots of sunshine, 76 degrees. Wind from the west at 12 miles an hour. Now, now, that's a key wind direction for today because the humidity, while it's really high right now, drops through the day as those westerly winds help to bring in some drier air. 73 in Smithfield, 76 in Providence, New Bedford, Taunton, mid to upper 70s. Satellite radar picture, you see some high clouds passing overhead. Most of the northeastern United States, super quiet. So we turn our attention to Hannah, working its way right along the Mexico-Texas border, bringing lots of rain into parts of Texas and Mexico, obviously. No impact on us, but we'll continue to watch Hannah nonetheless. We'll continue to watch all the tropics closely. Hour by hour forecast. Let's take you right into this evening. We're looking at dry conditions right into Monday now. We're looking at dry conditions for Monday. And sometimes you get the heat and humidity around. You get thunderstorms. Really nothing to kind of spark a thunderstorm tomorrow. That changes Tuesday, but Monday it looks like it will be dry. Forecast for today. Temperatures will be climbing into the low to mid 90s with mainly sunny skies. Feeling a little warmer than that with the feel like temperature. As I mentioned, the dew point today, high now begins to drop a little bit as we head through the afternoon. Still humid this afternoon, but not quite as bad at the beaches with that land breeze sunny and hot up around 90 degrees on the sand so you're not going to get a lot of relief at the beaches today in the water 75 you get some there but uh, even the water is getting pretty toasty uh, for tonight warm and muggy with mainly clear skies overnight low temperatures about 75 degrees you need the AC tonight you'll need it tomorrow look at the feel like temperatures for tomorrow afternoon 100 105 degrees especially in Inland areas tomorrow. Seven day forecast looking at sunshine tomorrow, shower, thunderstorm late Tuesday, and then not as hot later in the week. You can get the updated forecast anytime on our uh, WPRI Pinpoint Weather 12 app.